Welcome to MCN and the Suzuki GSX-S 1000. Now this is Suzuki's first ever proper super naked machine and it costs 8999 which is really really good value and it's powered by an engine which has almost got mythical status. It's the engine out of the GSX-R1000 K5 to K8. So it's the long stroke one. It's the one that we all rave about, the one we all miss and it's in this bike. Other than that, it's got a new frame. The frame's actually lighter than the current GSX-R1000s. It's got the current GSX-R1000 swinging arm uh, and it's got a comfortable riding position, a new dash, new wheels, new tires, new everything. So what is it like? Well, it is quite soft. It's not really super naked like the Europeans. It's very relaxed, very comfortable riding position, really natural actually, really comfortable. We've been riding this all day, no aches and pains. The only time you have any trouble is with wind blast, but obviously it's a naked, you're going to expect that. The engine's beautifully tractable. It's got that distinctive GSX-R growl to it, which uh, we all recognise from GSX-Rs from 10 years ago. Uh, it's really good fun, pulls really good wheelies. There's a couple of little things that aren't so good. The throttle is very, very snatchy off a closed throttle at low speed. And a lot of the roads we've been riding today up in the mountains are second gear corners where it's quite slow. And when you get back on the throttle, it comes in with a bit of a jolt. Uh, the ride quality is quite good, but the suspension is built down to a price. Obviously it's under nine grand. So it hasn't got that plush ride that you get from more expensive suspension. Uh, but other than that, it, it's a great bike. Where does it fit? Now, is it uh, a soft naked in the same realms as a CB1000 or is it a super naked like a BMW S1000R? Well, acceleration wise, it goes just as well as a proper full on 10 grand plus super naked. Other than that, it's not quite as refined compared to say a BMW S1000R or a Tuono or a KTM. Hasn't got the sharp brakes, hasn't got the, the perfect suspension, hasn't got the ultimate power. But compared to the Japanese rivals, it's more hardcore than the CB1000. It's roomier than a Z1000. It's not quite as short geared as a Z1000. So it's definitely the top of the Japanese superbike pile. Um, but what we're going to do next is uh, when this launch is finished, we're going to get this bike back to the UK and we're going to pitch it against all of its rivals to find out exactly where it sits. But for the meantime, Suzuki have made uh, a really impressive bike, really good fun bike, easy on the eye, easy on the body and uh, really good fun to boot.